page 491, number 9. Solve the system of equations. 2x plus 3y equals 18. 5x minus y equals 11. Now, we could solve this a number of different ways. We could solve each of these for y and then graph them both. We're going to have two lines here. We expect them to intersect in a point. We could use substitution, but probably the easiest way, since everything is lined up, is to use elimination. So what I want to do here, I'm going to multiply this bottom equation by 3. What that's going to do for me is that's going to make this a negative 3y, which will cancel out with the 3y in the top equation. So top equation I'll bring over, 2x plus 3y equals 18. Bottom equation, if I multiply everything by 3, I get 15x minus 3y equals 33. And now if we add these straight down, the 3y and the negative 3y cancels out. That's exactly what we want to happen because then I'll have an equation with just one variable, in this case x. And when I have just one variable, I can solve this relatively easy. If I divide both sides by 17, I get x equals 3. Well, now that I know x equals 3, I can take that and plug it in back into either one of these first equations. Let's just plug it in that top equation. So instead of writing 2x, I'll write 2 times 3. So I'm plugging it in right here. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3y equals 18. If I subtract 6 from both sides, I get 3y equals 12. Dividing by 3, I get y equals 4. So my point is 3 comma 4. x equals 3, y equals 4. Now we can always check our solutions by plugging them back in here. 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 4 is 12, 6 plus 12 is 18. So that point works for the top equation. 5 times 3 is 15, minus 4 is 11. The point works for the bottom equation. It's the one and only point that will work for both of these equations.